this video is about grounding so um because uh, i heard about the idea of grounding yourself and there are different uh, products that help you ground yourself there are two questions the one question is do i have to ground myself number one and the second question is the product that i'm buying is it grounding and now i'll measure if this product is grounding so to figure out if it is grounding you set your multimeter on ohm on the lowest so this is two kilo ohms this is 200 ohms and i started and this measures the resistance and you want to see the resistance between the ground and your product so this is your product this is my mat this is where i'm touching and this is for example the ground i cannot touch the ground right now so i'll be measuring so if this is the ground and this is the mat you see the resistance is 0 0.5 0 0.4 i'll have to make, make sure you make good contact okay 0 0.2 so that means there is good conductivity between this wire and this mat. So this device can ground me. Okay, now the idea is to find a good grounding uh, to be able to connect this wire to the ground. And now if I want to see if I need to ground myself I will be measuring voltage mm -hmm. yeah so I'm setting it to 2 and now I will connect this to the grounding this socket is grounded so I'm connecting this to the ground I'm starting it and I'm touching the other side so there is a 0 0.6 volts and now if I touch the ground the grounding mat I got 0 0.06 so 0 0.6 0 0.06 so the question is how much voltage can you live with or how much voltage is it too much so that you need to ground yourself and to be honest I have no idea but for example if I get too close to a socket I get 1.1 volts so if you live too close to ungrounded object you get too much voltage in yourself so you have to ground yourself okay i'm grounding myself i'm not grounding myself and the people say that you're supposed to ground yourself when you sleep in order not to have too much voltage passing through you so it's best to sleep with 0, 0.0 something Bolts. and the idea is that I've noticed that I actually have to touch something metal because if I'm sleeping like this with a uh, cloth on so for example with my PJs on you see it's, it's just like I'm not grounded this like this there isn't much of a difference if I'm using um, thinner cloth I'll use a thinner one yeah also not much of a difference but if I touch it with my bare skin there's zero point zero point something okay so that's the idea with volts 
the minimum value, you actually see how much voltage passes through you and what it looks like when you're grounding yourself. And uh, when you set it to ohms, you find out the resistance. Now, okay, let's let's check the resistance between the socket and this. You see? Yep. Hmm? No. Yes. Okay. Well, I have to make sh good contact. So that's the resistance between the socket, the grounding from the socket and uh, my mat. And it's two, three, four, depends on how well I make contact. So I would say this is the resistance of the earth, of the ground. It should be normally around four. So it means this uh, grounding device that I made myself is working well. Okay, well, that's it. Bye.